Join us as we spend a fun-filled weekend in Big Bear. This is Southern California's four-season mountain resort with an elevation of over 7,000 feet and located about 100 miles east of Los Angeles. We explore the quaint Big Bear Village, sample the foodie cuisine, and enjoy lake life. We're here in June, and the spring-summer season averages in the low 70s, which means it's a perfect time to get outdoors and out on the water. There's canoeing, fishing, paddle boarding, mountain biking, and so much more. Let's go check it out. We just rented bikes at Goldsmiths. We got Pedigo bikes, and we are taking them around Big Bear Lake and the Alpine Trail. We ride in. I love this path. All these beautiful trees. Big Bear has about 150 miles of mountain biking trails, and the Alpine Pedal Path is one of the most accessible and scenic. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're enjoying these views so far. We are taking a pedal path. so cool. I love all these trees. There's lots of campers out here. It goes right along the lake. It's super scenic. We stopped off multiple times. So here it talks about the different types of trees. We have Jeffrey Pine, Ponderosa Pine, and the Western Juniper. All of these log cabins. So we had a record-breaking winter here in California, and we had snow on our foothills, 1,500 feet high. We're here in June, and you can still see snow in Big Bear to this day. Usually it melts by now. Along our route, we spot one of the nation's few solar observatories right along the lake. We are at the Stanfield Marsh and they have this beautiful boardwalk. They have aspen trees kind of just blowing in the wind. This is a great place to take the bikes and get the views. We worked up quite an appetite during our bike ride, so we head to Santana and Mavericks for the best lake view dining. We order the garlic shrimp salad, fajita salad, and veggie burger, all of which were winners. And from our view, we spot the horse-drawn carriages going alongside the lake. We check into our rustic alpine retreat at the Noon Lodge, a boutique lodge located on a quiet residential street just about a mile from the Big Bear Village. All details are thought of here as if they were expecting us, including the kitchen, equipped with everything you need, the kettle on the stove, and the comfortable bedrooms. Our cabin sleeps seven people and has magnificent views of the lake. There's bunk beds, and a really nice bathroom. This suite is so beautiful. I love how it has this patio and this deck. You can go right out onto the lake. Imagine waking up to this lake view. Hey guys, we're in Big Bear and we just checked in to the Noon Lodge. We have a two-story cabin here right on the lake. You can rent canoes and bikes. Mike, what do you think so far? So amazing. We are so excited to be here. Come and join us on our exploration of this beautiful cabin, these yes. beautiful lodgings, all of the amenities and all of the activities and adventures. This endearing getaway is filled with vintage charm. It harkens back to a bygone era of exploring mountain trails, laughing around the campfire, doing cannonballs in the lake, and stargazing at night. The property includes many picnic areas, barbecue grills, fire pits, and cornhole, otherwise known as fetch if you're a dog. But best of all, it offers relaxation and a time to unplug. 
The neighborhood surrounding the lodge is quaint and filled with alpine cottages. We light the fire for the evening and decide to get some takeout at a yummy place located right in the village. The Big Bear Village is home to an array of dining experiences. Whether you're in the mood for a local pub cuisine, pizza, barbecue, or something more exotic such as Himalayan cuisine, or we decide on Thai food. There's nothing like eating outdoors on a long summer night. The Big Bear Village gets quite lively at night. We were even able to catch a live show at one of the lounges. We walk over to the Big Bear Lake Brewing Company, home of the freshest brew above 6,500 feet. Got the honey blonde. Whispering honey. Yeah. We got the pretzel. We got the barbecue pizza. Don't we forget got the, the chicken wings. Did you know that Big Bear Lake is a man-made freshwater lake that's seven miles long and about a half mile wide? We walk around the beautifully landscaped Big Bear Village in search of a breakfast spot and find it at Amangela's Sandwich and Bagel House, home of some of the best and most diverse bagel selections we've ever seen. We got the jalapeno cheddar and the classic bagels and locks. Big Bear Village has half-timbered houses that are reminiscent of Bavaria, and then suddenly we come across. We're going into an old German deli that was highly ranked. Join us. Let's go. The old German delicatessen has imported goods and fresh-made apple strudel, and of course, pretzels. Big Bear Village is also great for shopping. You never know what you might find. The Noon Lodge comes with kayak and canoe rentals, so it's time to check out the lake. Canoe vibes, Big Bear, let's go. Wave. We canoe around a calm inlet called the Mallard Lagoon, which features a number of cozy cabins right along shore that appear almost like gingerbread houses. We are just boating past some of the coolest lake cabins that we've ever seen onto Big Bear Lake. It's so fun. What's your favorite activity to do on the lake here in Big Bear? Comment below. Wildlife flourishes in Big Bear's alpine environment. The area is home to bald eagles, bears, mountain lions, and so much more. The altitude here reaches up to 9,000 feet high, and we enjoy the cinematic mountain views as we ride along in our canoe. <laughs> We rent the complimentary fixie bikes at the Noon Lodge and explore the nearby neighborhood. We stop off at a lake view just as the fog was rolling in over the mountains and engulfing the entire lake. And just as we were capturing this time-lapse footage, we heard something in the distance, and what appeared to be a young bald eagle emerged and soared right through this majestic landscape. The spring and summer season here offers quite the contrast to the bustling winter retreat that Big Bear is usually known for. 
In fact, these ski slopes look quite beautiful in green. To round out our trip, we capture views at the Boulder Bay Park, which is appropriately named for its boulders right in the middle of the lake. We hope that you enjoyed this video of Big Bear. Be sure to like and subscribe.